What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be going through designing, tagging, uploading our designs to Redbubble. So brace yourselves guys, this is going to be a longer video. It's not going to be for the faint of heart. Uh, so if you have the time to watch this video, I highly recommend you sit down, maybe, you know, jot some notes down, or maybe just, you know, have some entertainment and watch. Um, so Let's go ahead and get started. So I created a few concepts here uh, for some designs. This probably took like not too long to create. Uh, so we have keep calm, hunt dragons, keep calm, hunt dragons. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a difference with the background color, right? Uh, which we, by the way, already downloaded this. Here we have uh, keep calm and kill zombies. We have keep calm and hunt monsters. Now, something that I'll say right away is... Uh, I don't know for sure if these are going to sell, right? It's not like we can come out and say for sure this design is going to sell guaranteed, right? But there's a high chance that something is going to sell. Um, based on the designs that I'm seeing here and, you know, the one minute of research that I've done, there's low competition in specific areas and, and we want to be able to succeed in that area. Uh, so as you guys can see, and I just want to go ahead and lay the ground level here, is that throughout this tutorial, when we do the titling, the tagging, uh, you know, basically every single aspect to it, um, I'm going to be giving the beginner's guide to that information here. Okay, now there's a few reasons why. The first reason why is I'm not going advanced or giving you guys all the information is because, first of all, this is a beginner's guide for YouTube, but more importantly, all the advanced information is stuffed in our courses. So the Redbubble tagging course, the POD design course, how we design, how we tag, how we do everything is all on the website, autopilotpassiveincome.com. But in lieu of us creating some work, you will get to uh, get some free little tips, hints, and tricks uh, throughout this tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The tool that I'm going to be using to help me through the tagging process, just give me different ideas for tagging. I'll be able to copy and paste different keywords faster without having to actually type them out, is I'm going to be using the Redbubble Rocket Tagger tool. Um, you guys will see how I'm going to use this tool, so if you ever want to use it, just go into the description box. You'll find the link for it. You can click on it. It is an affiliate link, so whenever you click on the link and actually end up purchasing, I do get a commission if that's what you want to do and support the channel, but if you don't, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, the website is botsandapps.gumroad.com. Uh, just be aware that if you don't uh, purchase with the affiliate link, I will not get a commission. So just be aware of that. Now let's go ahead and actually talk about, uh, what we're going to be doing. So I have these different designs before I actually create a design. Um, I think, okay, what's a, you know, a concept now I, I have spoken about this in the, in the design course, but the way I like to do this is, and I'll just pull up a whiteboard here. So let's just go ahead and pull up this whiteboard. Let's go ahead and do this here, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. We have an umbrella, okay? And this umbrella, hopefully this is a decent design of an umbrella. I'm terrible at drawing, as you guys can see. We have an umbrella, and in the umbrella, we have a ton of different concepts, okay? This umbrella of concepts is where we create our 60 designs per day, 100, 50, you know, 500, 600, whatever designs. Now, I've recommended before when you do your designing... You want to sit down in a period of one day and do as much designing as you possibly can. You sit there, you design for two hours, five hours, six hours, ten hours, whatever amount, bulk amount of time you have for free. You know, if you're in college right now, if you're in university, um, we have some people who are actually single moms and college students at the exact same time who are watching us. Your shout out to all of them who are grinding and working hard to be successful. Um, if that's you, you know, maybe in between classes you want to sit down and do this. Maybe you're, uh, you know, before you go pick up your kids from school or whatever and you have some free time, do this. Uh, maybe if you're a student yourself, find that chunk of time, sit down. Um, it could be during your lunch hour, whenever, and just sit down and get some designs done, right? Get as many designs as you could get done. Now, you guys know that I like to design relatively quickly, and for those who are in the design course, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I had a video, 34 minutes, 60 designs in 34 minutes, uh, created, designed, no need for niche research, no need for any of that, okay? So, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show everything today, 
right? Because some of that content is in the courses, which if you guys want to access the course, every course right now is $39.99. Uh, we will be doing updates soon. So I want you to be aware of that. And generally, the bigger the updates that go through, the higher the price of the course will be. Currently, that the um, for the updates for the, the next update, you guys are going to see an update using the Redbubble Rocket Tagger tool uh, on the tagging course because I want to do tutorials with that in the course. But... Um, <clears throat> As you guys know, with all updates for all the courses, they come for free, okay? So if you pay for the course once, you always get updates. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, we have our designs here. I've actually already downloaded them, so I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about here. I've downloaded them. I have a few different uh, color options, so let's just go ahead and click on them to view them. So you could see here, this is an example of one. Now, notice here how the, the text here is gone. It's not that it's gone. It's that it's transparent, okay? So I just want you guys to be aware of that. So it's not, you know, nothing crazy going on. And you could do that with Canva Pro. I'm not an affiliate of Canva Pro. They do have an affiliate program. I'm not an affiliate, but uh, if you want, you could do this within Canva Pro. You could also do this with a, a bunch of other, you know, softwares. Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, um, GIMP. I mean, the list goes on and on. So you could do whatever you want in that kind of of aspect in terms of designing do what you like i have my own course up but if you don't want to operate based on the course uh do whatever you like like i said okay so we're gonna jump into our account here on redbubble by the way the guys this is a brand new account okay brand new account i created this account uh 20 minutes ago something like that if you guys look here i want to go ahead and show you the dashboard <clears throat> for the dashboard uh we have nothing uh done yet we didn't even confirm the email. So I just figured I'd show you this uh, because this is going to be the new demo. If you guys recall, I made a video talking about how I'm actually going to take the old demo store and turn that into an official money-making store because we have been doing very well. I think we have uh, over 250 orders on that store now. And for those who don't know, we created that store um, live on YouTube. Let me actually, you know what? I might as well pull up these videos. Like I said, this video is not going to be a short video. So, um, uh, I showed how I got the sale within my first 18 hours on that original demo store. Okay. So you're, it's not the story that you're seeing here. The original demo store, uh, we got a uh, first sale within 18 hours. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about here. Autopilot, passive income, YouTube. Let's go ahead and click on this. If we click on this, guys, uh, this YouTube channel, we created a demo store. Let me go ahead and scroll, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Um, let's see where it is. Uh, should be here somewhere. Here it is, the video right here. How I got my first sale in a brand new store on Redbubble. Uh, three months ago, this video was posted. I'll tell you the exact date. The exact date was November 25th, 2021. So... At the end of November, so let's just say uh, from December all the way till now, which is uh, today is the March 7th. So you have December, January, February, and a little bit of March. We've had over 250 orders so far on this store. And this store, I'm turning into a, um, a money-making store soon. Uh, that might be in a couple of months, so I don't want to keep showing that store publicly for obvious reasons, um, and, you know, I've already been abused by the copycats, so uh, the, if I can cut that down for the future, I'd appreciate that, but uh, regardless, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating this new store. If you guys want to follow this new store, you can go ahead and do so. The store is called New Demos, so you know exactly what the store is called, New Demos demos now it's not public nothing about it is public yet uh, and the reason why it's not public is because you could see here I haven't achieved anything on the dashboard yet which is what we're going to do now so let's go ahead and click add designs here now you could see here <clears throat> we have the option to copy existing work in our case we don't have any existing work on the platform so we're gonna click upload new work and so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my section here and let's go ahead and go with the dragons one first and I'm gonna click on this default transparent white one okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go head over straight to two products the sticker and the water bottle so let's just go ahead and go over there let's go to the sticker let's go to the water bottle first since we actually just see it here or the mug whatever travel mug um, actually, let's leave the travel mug alone. Let's leave the travel mug alone. Let's go to the water bottle and let's go ahead and hit replace image here and let's select the black one and that will be doing its thing and let's head over back to the sticker. 
which is here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. Here it is, sticker. And let's go ahead and hit replace image and let's select the same one. Now, for those who don't know why I did this, uh, for the stickers and for the water bottles, they do not have a colored uh, background. Like, for example, with the water bottle, um, we don't have that option. It's not like I could turn it into a gray background or anything like that. So the black text needs to exist on the uh, water bottle as well as for the sticker. For the sticker, you guys could see here, um, when somebody sees my sticker, uh, if I had just the pure white text, you wouldn't be able to see the text. Uh, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't look right, especially on the computer. So that's why we have it where it is. So keep calm and hunt dragons. Um, they're all going to be very similar. And now what we'll do is we're going to change the actual background. So the background I'm going to go with is black for this specific design. Now you can notice here, the first three products haven't changed, but everything else did. Okay. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to start by just making sure we enable all products. That's step one. Make sure you enable all products. Since this is our very, very first product, um, this does take a little bit of time. Uh, for those who have signed up to the design course, when I've shown you guys in the tutorial of me creating the 60 designs in 30 minutes, I explained that the first one is the one that takes the most time for specific reasons that we won't talk about here in this video, we've shown it, like I said, uh, in the course. So if that's something you need and you need more guidance on how to create designs that look better, create them faster without doing the market research that you need to actually get sales, then you can go ahead and do that. And by the way, I want to do a quick shout out to a viewer of the channel. Her name is Chili Variety. I think that's her name is. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, I'm not good with pronunciations, but you could um, check her, her comment. Her comment is on the screen right now. And uh, she got her first sale after following everything I've been saying. And I've been repeating what I've been saying over and over and over again. Somebody uh, the other day called me um, obsessed. And yes, I am obsessed with the things that I teach because... When I teach a certain method, I don't teach based on theory. I teach based on action. I do everything that I talk about. When I tell you guys 60 designs per day, I do 60 designs per day. Now, I'm not saying that you guys have to do 60 designs per day by any means. Don't get me wrong on that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm giving you guys the best tips as if you were my family. Okay, watching. You know, if you were my brother, if you were my sister, and I would, and my brother or sister came to me and said, listen, I need help with this. What should I do? I tell you guys exactly what you should do because that's what I should do. Or that's what I do, rather. I tell you, you know, there's no, there's no, um, there's no, uh, secrets here. Okay? I tell you exactly what you should be doing and what I am doing. Um, and it works at the end of the day. We all get sales. Uh, you know, there's been, hundreds of different people over the course of the last few months, people saying, hey, I got my first sale because of your videos, thank you, or because of your courses, thank you, and, you know, the whole process. So um, what we're doing now, guys, for everybody who's not sure, is what we're doing is we're making sure that we're optimizing our design for every single product, okay? There's going to be a lot of products here on Redbubble, and over time, and I hate this about Redbubble, but when they create a new design, uh, or excuse me, a new product, they don't go and update it for you, but that's okay. You're going to have to go in, you're going to have to edit your older products, and you're going to have to enable all products. That's something we all need to do, is we need to enable all products. I need to repeat that. Enable all products, desk mats, mouse pads. You never know what somebody's going to end up purchasing, okay? You never know. Uh, just because you might not buy something specifically doesn't mean somebody else will. Now, the general rule that I always say is, if you don't buy it, don't expect anybody else to buy it. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and spend your money, but what I am telling you is you have to design something that people genuinely like, okay? And that's the key at the end of the day. Um, so we're about, I would say, a little bit more than halfway done here with the uploading. You could see here we have a whole process to everything we do. This is uh, pretty good here. Let's go ahead and apply those changes. Let's actually increase the size of this slightly a little bit, just like that. Um, the, the mug always looked awkward to me, but you know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> the skirt, I do not expect anybody who wears skirts, uh, to buy something like this, but you never know what could happen. Uh, like I said, people come from all different walks of life who are interested in buying different things. I can't even tell you guys the amount of times that people have bought the oddest products from me. Um, but, you know, it happens. You know, just the other day, I've actually spoken about this, but somebody bought a pin button from me. 
just because I never wear pin buttons doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't. Um, so that's something that I had to realize and I had to really understand and learn. And, you know, it's a simple thing to understand, but once you truly understand it, you're going to put more effort into the way you design and you're going to actually care about every product you create and you care about the way it looks. Okay. Because at the end of the day, this is your product and every design you create, um, you are creating uh, digital real estate. Now, um, something that I want to say as I'm editing this by the way, guys, and I'm just talking to you, you know, normal here. The 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 the, the individual who got the sale, uh, Chili Variety, when she got that sale, um, she said, and, and this is actually something that caught my attention. I told her that's a good point. What you're saying is a very good point. She said the amount of that she got from the first sale that she had was more money than she collected on interest from a bank account. And I just thought that was very, very um, interesting that she said that because that's absolutely true. If you look at what the banks are offering today, what the marketplaces are offering uh, in terms of interest and things like that, it's nothing, absolutely nothing compared to what you could make on a platform like this, you know, in terms of percentages and things like that. Now, I'm not saying that this platform is the be all end all. Okay, I'm not saying that you should put all your hopes and dreams into a platform like this. It's one money-making uh, method uh, as opposed to many others. But, um, you know, it's an opportunity, right? And so we should treat all opportunities equally. I'm actually going to add the black here, so I'll replace the image. Let's go ahead and add the black one. Okay, I selected the wrong image there. Uh, but let's go ahead and enable the other ones while we wait. Um, but, you know, it's a, it is an opportunity, so... Um, you know, it's, it's not something that, you know, you need to work on forever, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, because I always had the strategy of if you go hard for one year on Redbubble, you won't ever have to do any more uploading, any more work on the platform ever again. But when I say go hard, we're not talking about just create designs like a madman. We're talking about do it logically, do it intelligently, right? Have a have a method behind the madness. Don't just upload like like a you know demented individual. Uh, you want to be able to upload with some kind of knowledge, some sort of level of intelligence with the work that you're doing, uh, or else you're not going to actually see any sort of results. Um, and I've said this before, but you can have the best design in the world. Uh, but if you don't tag properly, nobody's going to see your work. And you can have the absolute best tagging strategy in the world. But if your design is not attractive, nobody's going to buy it. doesn't matter how many people see it. So you really need to be able to nail down every aspect of your design. As, that, as long as it looks average or better, uh, you have a chance of, of making sales, assuming that it it is going to be seen. Now, you also want to keep in mind when you're doing your designing, guys, uh, the realistic, the likelihood, excuse me, of what, you know, what is the likelihood that your design is actually going to get a sale in the industry that you're in, in the niche that you're in, in the category that you're in. And you're going to see this when we start doing the tagging approach. But when we do the tagging, what you want to realize is that you have lead text. Now, what is the lead text? The lead text is that text for the title. It is for the, um, what are you going to title of your product, right? So the lead text, and that's going to be the quote unquote lead of all the text that you have, right? It's essentially what represents what your product actually is. So for me, in my case, with this, you know, design, I will have, you know, uh, keep calm and hunt dragons. That's going to be my lead text. Well, your lead text also can somewhat determine your tag text, right? So your tag text would not be lead text, but it would be secondary text. Now, I want to say this from a Redbubble algorithmic perspective, from a Redbubble algorithmic perspective, what is more valuable? I want you guys, I'm quizzing you guys right now. From a Redbubble algorithmic perspective, what is more valuable, lead text or secondary text? I want you guys to think about this logically. Don't just guess the answer. Think about it logically. I'll repeat the question. From a Redbubble algorithmic perspective, right, from the algorithm, as far as the algorithm is concerned, what is more effective, lead text or secondary text? If you answered lead text, you are incorrect. That is not the answer. It is tag text or secondary text is by far the most effective strategy to actually get sales on your Redbubble through Redbubble search. 
as far as the Redbubble algorithm is concerned. So, for example, if I search for monsters here and I see this design and I actually like it and I want to buy it, well, that happened through what? That happened through tagging. I typed in the word monster. Not once do you see the word monster here in the title. And what does that indicate? <clears throat> It indicates that the title or the lead text, which in this case is the title, does not have to match the buyer's search intent to actually get a sale. I know, guys, I'm throwing a bunch of jargon at you, but if you do feel uncomfortable with the things that I'm saying and you're not sure with what I'm saying and you need you know, a step-by-step -step handheld process of guidance and information on the things that I'm saying, I highly recommend you check out the Redbubble tagging course. I've spoken about this before, but understanding Redbubble's algorithm, how it functions, and how your product gets to be seen in the marketplace is quintessentially important extremely important compared to any other aspect of the print-on-demand journey because let's be realistic, you can improve your uh, art design ability, your, your design ability. One, one of the things that you cannot improve by luck or by uh, just sheer doing it, just sheer mass of scale of just doing it, doing it over and over and over again uh, is your tagging ability. Now, don't get me wrong, you can get more comfortable with tagging over time by doing it more and more often, uh, but that's not going to move the needle. If you want to see real results, you're going to have to understand the algorithm before you jump into the algorithm, if that makes sense, right? A lot of people will just create countless amounts of designs. I've seen this happen, unfortunately, many times before, where people who watch the channel will create 600 designs, 800 designs, and they won't have a single sale. And they'll then call out Redbubble as if there's something wrong with Redbubble. And that's not the case whatsoever. It has to do with the tagging. So a good way to figure out if tagging is a problem in your business is you want to look at your analytics of your account. Now, this is a brand new account. We don't have analytics. Um, but <clears throat> look at your analytics and see. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, let's just go ahead and pull up analytics here. Let's go to... Um, do we even have access to analytics? No, it's a brand new account, so we don't have access to analytics, at least not that I think of. Um, yeah, not that I think of, but <clears throat> once this account is uh, opened up fully, we will have access to analytics. Go to your analytics and see if your traffic is low, meaning you, know, you don't have at least per day two visits per each product you're selling. So for example, if you don't have if you let's just say you have 200 designs on your Redbubble store and you don't get at least 400 visits a day to your store, then tagging is lacking in your industry. Tagging tagging your tagging skill is uh weak. I'll just put it that way. Okay? Cuz I, I at least expect at least at the very very least two visitors per day for each design that you create. And that's not asking much at all. So for example, if you have 1,800 designs, right, then you should be per day getting 3,200, uh, excuse me, 3,600 visitors a day to your store. Now, I don't expect this to happen right away. Obviously, uh, Google helps with this. Um, you know, if you're getting some sales uh, using outside methods like Instagram, as we've shown before um, in the actual video where I showed how to get how to get your first sale in under uh, or how I got my first sale in 18 hours on the brand new store. Uh, that's using traffic from outside sources, which we've spoken about before. But obviously, that has nothing to do with today's video. Let's go ahead and jump in. But like I said, if you're not getting two visitors a day for each design that you have created, that's how you know your tagging is not, you know, not where it should be. Um, now, if you are, but you're not getting any sales, well, then, then you know your design quality is lacking. So either way, whatever problem you have, whether it be both issues or just one of those issues, we have the solution for you. The Redbubble tagging course has to do with the tagging. The POD design course has to do with the design, not only to effectively do the designing properly, right, uh, but to do it efficiently, uh, efficiently uh, with speed. Uh, but actually have quality so you can stand out and actually get the sale and more importantly have it result in productivity which is income and that's how we measure productivity we don't measure productivity based on the number of designs we create because that's not being productive that's called running in place we don't want to run in place we want to be quick with our work we want to have high quality work we want to mix those two together and actually result in sales it's not good enough to have high quality work but be very slow with our work does that make sense 
It's not good enough to be very, very fast with our work, but have low quality work. It, it has to be both in terms of our designs, okay? In terms of tagging, there's actual strategies, uh, and the Redbubble tagging course covers not only the tagging for the Redbubble algorithm, but also being found on Google and through Google. So that's kind of the approach through there. So now let's go ahead and jump into the tagging of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with my lead text. So here we have keep calm and hunt dragon. So good. We have our lead text. Now our lead text is going to help us contribute to Google. Okay. So Google search. Um, and the way this works is that we have to do an, a, a search on what's going to be more valuable. Is it going to be the default as a sticker? Is it going to be the default as a shirt? Whatever it's going to be. So for example, I'm going to go ahead, and actually pause my screen. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Give me a second here. Okay, so what you could see here, I'm using a tool called uh, Uber Suggest by uh, Neil Patel. I actually know Neil Patel personally. I met him back when I was much, much younger, when I was selling my first uh, business. And his friend is the actual person who bought the business for me. So let's go ahead and continue here, or from me, not for me. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue here. So we want to figure out what is going to be uh, our best option uh, for keywords. So we have keep common hunt dragons. Let's see what we get here. And first of all, we want to see if there's any search volume. If there's not any search volume, it's perfectly fine. Uh, clearly, no search volume on the keyword. Uh, so in this case, it doesn't really matter if we add sticker, shirt, whatever the case may be. So uh, unless we have a sort of predictor, this is not going to matter. And like I said, if you need to learn more about this, then go ahead and jump into the Redbubble tagging course. But uh, regardless, let's go ahead and jump in here. So we have uh, keep common hunt dragons. Let's go ahead and go down here and let's select the default. In my case, let's see what the competition is doing. So let's type in keep calm and hunt dragons. Let's see here. And by no means am I recommending this keyword, by the way, to actually try to make money off of. You can see here there's no competition. Um, let's go ahead and just leave it at keep calm and hunt and let's see what comes up. And so we can see here, uh, these are mediocre designs. And you guys could see here when you're designing like this and you're going against com competitors like this, you're going to whip the competition. Let's be let's be 100% honest, okay? Now, keep calm and hunt unicorns, keep calm and ghost hunt, keep calm and uh, whatever that extra stuff is. Okay, so in this case, I don't see anything about keep calm and hunt dragons. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the sticker because uh, I really want my design to shine. So I'm going to go with sticker here. And once again, guys, if you are not sure... Uh, why this is taking me so long uh, is because I'm going and I'm describing everything that I'm doing. In the course for the POD design course, I specifically show how to do this very, very quickly without any kind of, um, uh, you know, kind of, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not breaking this down the same way I'm breaking it down here. In the course, I explain why I'm doing things the way I'm doing it much, much faster after it's done. So one of the videos that you'll see in the course for the design course, the one, this one right here, I do the designs, but I'm not talking. You, you'll never hear a voice out of me. I've created other videos after it where I actually show and I say, okay, I did X, Y, Z. Here's why I did it. And here's how I did it. Okay. And what the purpose was. So uh, right away, one of the ta long tail keywords that I'm gonna had it have is my is my uh uh you know my head my uh, tie, uh lead lead text. Now, is somebody searching for this on Redbubble? The answer is no. Nobody's probably searching for this, but it's it's good to add anyway. Um, now, by default, because I've added the word keep calm and hunt dragons, I will uh, compete for the word. Uh, keep calm, keep calm and hunt, keep calm, whatever, but I'm still going to add it anyway. Now, there are reasons why I'm going to add this anyway, and I know Redbubble specifically tells you not to do this. We're not keyword stuffing. There's a certain strategy behind this. I'm not going to reveal why I do this uh, because I've revealed it in the course, like I said, and I don't want to keep referring to the course every two seconds, uh, but the reason why I do is because the course is just so much jam-packed with information, and uh, I'm not going to, like I said, describe here publicly why I do this. I'm just going to show you that I do it. So here we have keep calm. Okay. So now we want to see, okay, clearly nobody's searching for the word keep calm and hunt dragons, right? In this situation, but they could potentially buy my design if they see it for other keywords. So what are other keywords that could potentially relate to keep calm and hunt dragons? Well, 
dragon hunter, right? So I can go into here and I could search for the word dragon hunter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all these other links here. So I got this keep uh, dragon hunter. And what I'm going to do here is or what I want to do rather is I want to uh, assert a value for each of these. So I'm going to go ahead and ha create open up my notepad and I have an empty notepad. I'm going to go into this design, this Rathalos classic t-shirt, which I have no idea what Rathalos is. I don't know if it's a video game. I don't know what it is, but let's go ahead and click grab tags here. Okay, and I'm using my tag uh, rocket tagger uh, from uh, the bots and apps, which I believe you guys just saw. But now you can see here all the keywords that are potentially added are added to my clipboard. So I don't even need this anymore. This is the product that I'm talking about. I'll leave the affiliate link in the description box down below. Okay, we're going to go ahead and paste it. So we have a few keywords here. We have hunter and notice here how it ends. Where is it here? Monster hunter, fancy hunter, hunter, hunter. Okay, this is good enough. So we have Hunter, uh, Gaming Fantasy Monster, Hunter Hunter, Rathalos Dragon, MHW, Monster Hunter World, uh, Gaming Fantasy Monster. Okay, so this is, eh, it's okay. I mean, we're going to go with, let's go with Rathalos. Does that have something to do with Dragon Hunters? I, I want to see, because if this is the case, then this is a keyword that I can potentially use. Now, I don't want to, I want to make sure that it's not trademarked, and I don't see other people here, I mean, it doesn't seem like a problem. It seems like people are using it. Um, so, let's go ahead and do a trademark search. Okay, trademark search, and let's go ahead and search for a trademark database. We just want to make sure. It's a brand new Redbubble account at the end of the day. I don't want to have my, my work go into review. I know work going into review is really not a big deal, especially in the you know later down the road, but this is my first time. I don't want to go ahead and screw things up. So clearly we have nothing, uh, uh, no issues here. Let's go ahead and go back and just double check. We have a combined work uh, trademark. We have live and dead, plural and singular. We search for Athlos, let's just... Okay, nothing comes up. So it's a safe word that we can go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and hop back into our uh, section here. We have this. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to add Rathalos as my first keyword. Okay, so we have dragon. Let's go ahead and add that. And we have, what are some other keywords? We have MHW, Monster Hunter World. I'm, I'm okay with using that. We have Monster Hunter which is keep calm and hunt dragons, so that's fine. We have gaming, fantasy, monster, hunter, hunter, and uh, actually, you know, I'm, I'm not going to put hunter, hunter twice. That just doesn't make sense for me in this situation. So we have a few keywords. Now, can I look at these specific keywords and can I create long tail? It's optional. We have keep calm and hunt dragons. We have keep calm uh, we have monster hunter. What about hunt monsters? How about that, right? So hunt monsters okay now once again they these keywords from a algorithmic perspective we can potentially show up by only having one of them okay but that's not the reason why i'm adding these there's a specific reason i'm not going to be able to share the reason here publicly right i shared it in the course i'm not going to be able to share it here publicly uh but it is what it is. So for those who have the course, they know exactly why I'm doing this and the purpose as to why I'm doing this. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some other designs here. And let's go ahead and increase the size of this. So we have this Rathalos design, okay? And we've already took care of that by extracting the tags, etc. Here we have Monster Hunter World Iceborne, uh, Lovely Dragon Breathing... And by the way, this has 4,298 results. So if we could potentially, for the keyword Dragon Hunter, pop up, uh, this could potentially have some search volume, okay? Now, the reason that indicates to me that there is not a significant amount of search volume uh, and this, the amount of search volume does not correlate necessarily to the amount of results is because there are no designs here that are strictly that say uh, Dragon Hunter, right? There, there's no design that says that. These are concepts um, of other designs that have been tagged with the word dragon, comma, hunter, comma, or dragon, hunter, comma, right? So if I do show up here, it's uh, it will help me uh, 
you know, marginally. It's not going to be something crazy. It's not going to be make me become a millionaire. But at the end of the day, when we do 60 designs per day, there's a purpose behind that. So in this case, let's go ahead and open this up again. And let's go ahead and grab the tags. Now, guys, for this, what we're doing here is, like I said, we're grabbing the tags. We want to gain familiarity uh, with what's going on here. So it's already copied to my clipboard. I'll go over here and I will open it up. And this feature is in beta. I, I really love this feature um, because it's so cool. I get to access all this. Now, let's go ahead and see here. Uh, where was it? Here, the notepad. We have Zing Zingor. I'm not really sure what that is. Is that some sort of aspect in the video game? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and search what that is. And let's also search this in the trademark search as well, just for safety purposes. Like I said, okay, so there's nothing from that aspect. And is there anything coming up here? I don't even know. Um, let's see what we got here. So, okay, so it's clearly like some sort of dragon or some of some sort. Now, if I add this, the reality is, is this what's going to give me a uh, false um, advocacy, I guess you could say. What is false advocacy? Well, it just means that I'm going to get some traffic. Uh, to my design, but I'm not necessarily going to get sales. If you're searching for Zin, Zinogor or Zingori or whatever this word says, uh, Zingor, th whatever this word says here, if you're searching for this and you see my design that says keep calm and hunt dragons, you're not going to really care. You're not going to care about my design. So for that reason, I am not going to be adding it. Um, I do not want to mess in terms of irrelevancy or what the company says here. What do they call it? parallelism yeah i don't want to mess for uh where is it Par parallelism there it is i don't want to mess up the parallelism of my specific design okay and i'll explain more about that when we do update the course when i talk about that so that will be coming soon but here i'm gonna add keep uh keep calm and hunt and let's see what comes up from that aspect as well and if i didn't already i want to actually add that keyword so I'll go ahead and add that keep calm and hunt. We actually already did. Okay, so keep calm and ghost hunt. Keep calm and ghost hunt. That's fine. If I click on the best selling, let's go ahead and see what the best selling is. Um, keep calm and hunt monsters. Interesting. So that is a keyword that I'm, I am going to use. And the reason why is because if we look at the keyword keep uh, calm and hunt monsters, Somebody could, we could rationalize that, that monsters are dragons. And so if you search for keep calm and hunt monsters, you might, you might, you might have a chance of purchasing keep calm and hunt dragons. Because if you really compared the two, this design and my design, let's be a hundred percent honest. What do you think is more likely to sell this or this? The answer is clearly this. I mean, I'm not even being... Uh, I'm, I'm not being biased towards my own work and favoring my own work, but let's be 100% realistic. Uh, this is very casual. There's not much to it, um, which is why I teach in the course, you know, utilizing certain aspects to our designs to make our designs better. In fact, I have my three-step system that I shared within the course uh, th that is the POD design course uh, that has never, ever failed me, and it actually works amazing. So, um, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tags here. We can easily run the uh, grabber. So let's go ahead and grab. And we have Keep Calm, Hunt Monsters, Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunt. And uh, since it's already copied, we can go ahead and head over here into our... Um, oh, I forgot to even grab the full list over here. But this is good enough for now. Hunt Monsters... Monster Hunter, Monsters, uh, I'm not going to be adding Nintendo or Capcom, uh, these are trademark terms, and like I said, it's not a big deal because I'm under fair use, it's not like I have a Nintendo logo or anything like that on my work, but the reason why I'm not specifically using those keywords, guys, is because this is my first design, I don't want to give Redbubble a bad impression, there are so many people who go into Redbubble their very first time and get banned their very first time because of a certain keyword they're using. So uh, here I'm going to add Japanese kanji. I think that's like a style, but I could be wrong. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into our thing here. Let's actually drag this over here. Okay, and let's increase the size of this. And we have Japanese kanji. We also have, um, where is the notepad? Let's head over back here. We have Monster Hunter, Hunters, 
uh, Capcom, Nintendo. Uh, let's see here. We have Kanji. We have Dragon Elder. Elder Dragon. Um, let's go ahead and go with that. Let's add Monster, comma, Hunter, comma. These are short tail. My goal is not to rank for short tail keywords because I know that's unrealistic anyway. I've talked about this in the course and why this is in the course. I'm not going to talk about it here, but it is what it is. Um, we already added Hunt Monsters. Let's go ahead and type in Monster Hunter. Like I said, I'm not going to talk about why I'm doing this. I'm just going to do it. I've already described this in the course. Um, let's go ahead and make sure this is spelled properly. And let's try to extrapolate some long tail keywords for uh, relevancy sake. So we have Elder Monster, Elder Monster, Dragon. Let's type in Elder Dragon. Let's see what comes up here, if anything does come up. And once again, guys, I'm going through this through a longer explanation. I don't do this in real life, like I said. I can't clearly show, I mean, this is logical. I can't show the content that's in the course here for free on the YouTube channel. I mean, it just I just can't do that. Uh, it would be unfair to the people who purchased the course. But uh, here we have Elder Dragon. Let's see if there's anything viable that I could actually get. So Elder Dragon, uh, I think that has to do with Elder Scrolls or something like that. Um... You know, I'm just going to leave it monster. This is interesting. Monster Hunter Stories. I'm going to go ahead and add that tag. That is definitely a tag that I could potentially use. And you could see here it's an open market. So um, we're going to go ahead and add that one as our, our last one here. And uh, that should be it. And uh, I could add more, of course. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. And uh, this is going to uh, be taken care of in the description. I'll just go ahead and ignore that for today. And we got this taken care of. And uh, this section here doesn't really matter to me right now for the sake of this video. I mean, the sake of this video, none of that's important to me right now. Do I use it? Yes, I do. But we'll just leave it where it is. So you guys got what you came here for. We got um, tagging done. We titled it. We uh, set up the designs properly. We optimized them. We can actually take a look at our work here. Let's just wait for it to load. And uh, it says here, uh, congratulations, you're almost ready to sell. Only you can view and purchase this design. Complete the payment details soon. So obviously, as you guys could see, uh, this is a new store. So if I go over here to sell your art, let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, we only have one design added. We have to set up the shop. We have to get paid, all this kind of stuff. So I have to set this up in order for our design to go public. Uh, make sure you guys tune in to see where our design um, ends up ranking, right? So we could actually see that kind of details. But you could see here on all the designs where this is supposed to fit, uh, you know, this is a, a no-go. But for everything that's black here, it looks perfect. Um, and that's what's going to sell the most at the end of the day. We have the sticker. We have the, um, even the laptop sleeve looks pretty cool. Uh, we can always go back and edit certain things, so I would make this a little bit smaller, uh, just a hint. But you can see how it fits on the iPhone uh, and on the uh, Samsung Galaxy. I always try to like to put the, the design a little bit downward a little more. Here I might have to do it a little bit downward, probably like a millimeter more just to make sure everything's safe. But, you know, at the end of the day, we did a great job here. You know, and it's a, it's a decent decent piece of work. Do I think it's going to sell for these products like shower curtain or anything like that? The answer is no. I mean, let's be honest. Who the hell would have something like this as a shower curtain in their house? Uh, unless they're like a total gaming uh, addict, uh, which I have no nothing wrong with. I'm just, I'm just saying, um, you know, it's unrealistic, right? What's realistic is if somebody buys this as a sticker for their kid or if somebody buys it as a t-shirt or you know, whatever, whatever the case may be, but I really don't think it would sell for certain pieces, uh, like the throw pillow, I mean, maybe, uh, but it, it's more likely going to sell for the ones that I mentioned, I don't think it's going to sell for, uh, something like a pair of socks, uh, yeah, actually it might, uh, I don't think it will sell for a button, for example, the pin button, um, but you know, it's decent, it gets the job done, so clearly we got the job done here, and, uh, obviously it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good, and, um, you know, if we, once we publish everything, let's go ahead and see how it looks, all right, I'll talk to you guys later, uh, by the way, guys, all the links that I mentioned, all the links, the tool, this tool right here, the, uh, courses, 
Uh, everything will be either in the description or the pinned comment. So you want to look between the two. If you're on mobile, you want to actually click on the comment section, scroll all the way up and look for the button that says pinned comment or the, the comment that says pinned comment. That's going to where the, all the links are going to be. All right. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments down below. Um, and like I said, I apologize for not sh talking about everything that I'm doing for the reasons that I'm doing it. Like I said, it would be unfair for me to expose that information for the people that paid their hard-earned money for the courses. I wouldn't be able to show that publicly, but you got, you know, a little bit of, uh, of both here. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.